Every year, about 80 volunteers get together to send Christmas cards and care packages to some young people that will more than likely only get that one gift. They're incarcerated at Lookout Mountain, and what starts with, these conne with this connection actually changes lives. The Wreath of Light program by Youth for Christ is a holiday nonprofit that I recently learned about and decided to highlight this year. I pray that this season brings peace to your heart, that every day brings new hope to you. While the words written in these cards might say something a little different, to shine and be the very best version of you. The meaning is the same. It's one of love and hope. What you hold on the inside is special, unique. Sent from strangers coming together to try and stir the souls of teenagers often thought to be unreachable. These cards will soon be sent to Lookout Mountain Youth Services, a juvenile detention facility in Golden, where hundreds of our young people are lost and locked up. By the time I reached 16, I had already shot two people. When I was 13, I ended up uh, using meth as well as uh, cocaine. These are stories that Avion knows all too well. I was incarcerated at Lookout Mountain for about three years. It was rough. It's, it's a lot of time in the cell. That's a lot of time uh, just thinking. He told me he ended up there after running with the wrong crowd and making poor choices. And I was trying to be something that I wasn't. So that's why I tell a lot of kids nowadays, like, just be yourself. Avion can testify to the weight and worth of these words. It's crazy because that's like all we get. So there's Skittles, fruit snacks, shampoo, chapstick. These things matter. Uh, puzzle book, coloring book. Once you get these gifts, it makes you think like, wow, well, somebody really cares about me. They're taking the time out of their day it's to really show me that, that, I'm, that I'm, I could be something in life. Just having your personal chapstick and things like that is, is, a, is, is really special. Avion says Youth for Christ and its Wreath of Light program was the spark that lifted the darkness around him. The gift bag, just the beginning. It was through Youth for Christ that he met his mentor, a man named Preston, that changed his life. What do you think would have happened to you if um, Preston would not have come into your life? I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to think about it because I, I probably wouldn't be here today. I'll probably be in prison somewhere. And so I'm just thank, I thank God that he came into my life. What did he show you and give you? He showed me love. So today he writes a few words of his own, knowing the life-changing power they offer to the person who reads them. The world needs you. I believe in you. Avion is currently working to save enough money so that he can go to college. He wants to study music. He's already working on songs to fulfill his dream of becoming a rapper. And if you would like to learn more about Youth for Christ or its Wreath of Light program, you can visit our website and you'll find a link there.